right, another boring day. Got to bring the bins up. Try not to get hit here. Come out to the boxes. No RC explosion box today. How sad. I don't know what to do. My RC explosion box didn't arrive. I guess I better go to the local spots and see if they have some cards. So the air quality outside is 182. So I'm literally risking my life for some blaster boxes of Don Russ football. What am I doing with my life? Literally the only sports cards. Eh, not the only ones. I got those. I don't know if I'm more sick of wearing these masks or coming to this Walmart every day and not seeing a restock. No shocker here. Looked like this for the last week. Basically no restock last week, which sucks. Look at all this space for Seahawks gear. This is like... Oh, it's like a 20 foot shelf and 16 of it is Seahawks gear. There is so much smoke in the sky right now that the sun is like a burning ball of orange. Like it's gonna come down and just like kill us all. Like a big fiery, fiery end to it all. And I'm gonna be honest, if I don't find Mosaic at retail in a couple weeks, I probably wouldn't mind that. I decided that I wanted to listen to Taylor Swift uh, so I'm going out to Target. Oh, there is my very, very damaged Jose Altuve. Story goes, uh, I wrecked that card while opening a, a cello in my truck. And uh, he's been horrible ever since. It's been great. I guess he was horrible since before. But yeah, he never broke out of the slump. So that is staying there for the rest of the season. So I made the uh, 12 and a half mile trek to my local Target. Why not? Had to get out of the house. Spend too much time in the house. I work remotely 40 hours a week always doing things in my office with cards or video so see what they have at target that's our dude there's no packs no packs and nothing all right final stop of the day and i have to say the dude fred meyer not the store the dude fred meyer total boss move right you know open up a chain of stores and he's like you know his friends are like what are you gonna what are you gonna call your chain of stores i'm just gonna throw my name on the side of the building what a boss move absolutely no trading cards to be found and they have them in these boxes that you have to get the lock box for anyways this place has been hit or missed for the last few weeks does your local fred meyer have a pokemon center because we have two of them in the area and these things are awesome and again, gonna have those Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes right down there, and I'm gonna buy every single one of them, and we're gonna hunt for Charizard next month. All right, Phil, it better be here today. Better be here today, Phil. What is going on? Another day of checking the local Wally and Fred Meyer for product at lunchtime. Absolutely nothing. So I'm really hoping that the RC explosion box has finally arrived because I really want to rip something today. All right, day three of waiting for the mailbox restock of the RC explosion box. What the? So I don't know if you guys have figured out the gimmick yet, but I've basically been recording this video for like three days, waiting for this to show up. Oh, it's finally here. It's about time. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, the day has finally arrived. The RC Explosion Box by Filmington is here, and uh, I'm very excited to get into it. Now, we are on batch 21 this month, so we're a little bit late to the party. That's okay. It's better late than never. Um, you know, now I've started doing some of the boom box, platinum basketball, and the gold basketball boxes, so I wanted to find a really good baseball box, and I believe this one is the cream of the crop. But the cream will rise to the top. I uh, watched my good buddy Bowman 1951 bust a few of these. And uh, sure enough, when I decided that I wanted to bring these type of boxes onto the channel, this was a no-brainer to me. Um, so I'm glad to be opening these on the channel now. I'm glad to show you guys what's in them. I've watched a couple of the Batch 21s open so far, and I'm pretty happy with the pack choices this month. Uh, if you're not familiar with Filming Chin, he has a YouTube channel, uh, really great stuff. He has just an absolutely brilliant mind for the hobby. He was recently on an episode of Sports Card Investor. Or if there's some market manipulation, market manipulation, market manipulation. Who you guys know, I'm not too big of a fan of Sports Card Investor. I've talked about it a couple of times, but his episode was particularly great. He dropped a lot of good knowledge uh, about baseball rookies and 
yeah all that good stuff that's what he knows best so um let's go ahead open this on up i believe the price of these i can't recall off the top of my head somewhere in the 60 dollars range i do know with the price of wax going up it's gonna go up a few bucks i'm not concerned with that I'm rich. and uh show you guys what this is all about all right we got a nice long i like this usually you get a nice little page uh, like a one sheet on a on a sticker roll uh, or something like that. Like when, this is a lot of a lot of literature, a lot of good stuff. And talks about all the packs that we're gonna get. Uh, 2012 Gypsy Queen, 2017 Heritage Miners, 2017 Series One, 2018 Series One, 2019 Bowman, 2019 Tops Heritage, 2019 Tops Series One. 2020 chrome 2020 opening day 2020 series one and 2020 series two uh so good pack lineup uh some highlights for me especially that 2012 tops gypsy queen i've had a ken Griffey jr auto from that set i didn't pull it but i i had it on com c for a little bit those are really good looking cards that mike trout second year card highly desirable um 2017 just look at this list of names from the heritage miners Another one that stands out, always nice to pull Aaron Judge from 2017 Top Series 1. Uh, overall, just a lot of good packs. Um, I can't really think of any that are that are missing. And uh, for this price point, I think this is a good run of packs. So let's pull them out and put them in order of how we want to do it. And uh, we will go from there. Nice, uh, just comes right directly to your mailbox. And you just have a nice little selection of baseball packs. And I think this actually, this is one of my first times doing a, a packaging like this for baseball. And I think this is probably going to be a lot more fun than just doing like a lot of one thing. Um, okay. Wow. That's a, this is a lot of packs. So opening day is going to be first. How are we going to do this? There are just a ton of packs. And I'm, I'm trying to think through which ones I like. There we go. Got it. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. 2020 opening day. Looking for that Luis Robert short print. Otherwise, probably not too much going to be going on in this pack. Again, 2020 opening day kind of mimics the series one. The, the flagship design you do have that opening day little, little uh, emblem in the corner signifying that it is of lesser value than flagship and all those. But not too much going on there. It's all good. 2019 Bowman. Ooh, 2019. I thought it was 2020 Bowman. Um, in that case, let's go ahead. Let's reseed a little bit. We will put 2019 Bowman down there. Uh, 2020 Tops uh, Series 2. Looking for Robert. We've done a lot of this on the channel. I've done a lot of this off the channel as well. So, see what we can find. We got Bueller, Felix in that Braves uniform. I'll never get used to that. He Man Choi, Sean Manaya, Willie Castro rookie card, Jordan home run challenge. So that's not too bad. We'll we'll put that on the board as our first rookie. Hosmer and Ahmed. That's our first decent hit. We'll move on to 2018 Series 1. 2018 Series 1 set I did a little bit of flagship. I always try to do a little bit a Series 1, Series 2 update. Also try to do a couple boxes of Chrome every year. Some, some big hit potential here. Nelson Cruz for the Mariners. 
Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. I thought that was numbered. Actually, I saw, saw the like whitish border. I almost thought it was a platinum for a second there, but how crazy would that be? Kluber, Sale, Joe Cotton. All right, not too much moving going on right there. Uh, we are going to move on to 2019 Series 1, and I'm trying to remember... I know I have his paperwork right here. Other than you know, the key works, 2019 top series one. Uh, we're, we're looking for Kyle Tucker coming on strong. Uh, Kopek, Ramon Laureano, and Brandon Lowe. Should, should have probably kept that handy for referencing. Pablo Lopez, Joey Votto, Cassianos, Cervelli, Almora, Mike Trout. What are these, like 84s? Yep, 84s. Mike Trout, not too bad. Not, not a rookie for the RC Explosion box, but we will take it. Guriel Jr. Future Stars, Danny Duffy, Didi. Is that DD an image variation? I, I don't believe it would be, but I don't believe that DD is an image variation. Cueto, Christian Villanueva. All right, moving on. We have high number 2019. Do we want to do, I'm going to swap it. Let's do that 2019 Bowman right now. I will have some more Bowman on the channel coming up. We will be doing a box of 2020 Bowman Chrome. Let's do this! So let's see what we can find out of this pack. Sean Reed Foley rookie card. Brandon Lowe rookie card right there. Dakota Hudson. We've got a talent pipeline featuring three players from the St. Louis Cardinals. Our first Bowman is going to be Edward Cabrera, not too familiar. AJ Puck, prospect. Pretty decent right there. And a Ryan Mountcastle as well on the chrome. Evan White, paper. And Mitch Keller. All right, moving on. 2019 high number baseball. A lot of good names in here. A lot of good names in here. John Means. And uh looks like we have a Chrome. Chrome is going to be AJ Pollock. Hello. And that is going to be a purple hot box refractor, not numbered. But purple hot box refractor, so everybody who got a pack out of this box, everybody got a purple Refractor, that's nice. I believe those are one per case on those hot boxes. Salvador Perez, scratch off. Granderson Senzel, rookie card for the Reds. And Brian Goodwin. All right, moving on to 2020 Tops Series 1. This is a great set. Maybe one of the greatest in recent years in terms of big names. You got Jordan and Gavin Lux, Kyle Lewis, Bichette. This the names go on and on and on. So a lot of good rookies in here. Yaz, Future Stars. Marwin Gonzalez. Trevor Bauer, I love that guy. CJ Crone. And uh, we have a hit. It's going to be Austin Riley, Relic. So Austin Riley, Relic. It's one auto or memorabilia per box. Uh, and so we got the memorabilia. I believe it's one auto or memorabilia. So we got the hit out of that box. Fran Mill and David Dahl. So we did fade all of the good rookies in that set, unfortunately. All right, what do we got left? 2017 Miners. 2017 Miners is pretty good. So we'll put that behind 2017 Tops Series 1. I really like this set. Aaron Judge, Alex Bregman. I believe Bellinger was a little bit later, but the Judge is always a fun... Always a fun hunt. 
I believe my dude Mitch Hanniger is in series two and Vogelbach is either in series two or update. Those are a couple of my guys who I collect. You guys know that. Zach Brighton, insert. Aaron Nola. Carlos Santana. Rajay Davis and Chris Young rounding it out. Also a decoy. All right, just a few packs left. Overall, I've been pretty happy. It's just a nice, fun rip. Uh, let's go. We'll save. Uh, we'll do the miners now because we like. We really like Topps Chrome and we really like that 2012 Gypsy Queen as well. And oh, uh, I think we we have a very thick card in here. Let's see what's behind it. But we have, we definitely have a hit. Uh, so shout out Mr. Mington for for loading my box up for me as I do this for the first time on the channel. Yeah, you, know, you scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. Well, Jules, the funny thing about my back... That's a joke. That's a joke. But we have a very, very thick card. Jose Tavares, Sean Reed Foley, and uh, what is this? Uh, it's going to be Harrison Bader. Look how thick this Clubhouse Collection relic is. I have not seen one like this. We do have a nice little, like, thread right there. But holy cow, I'm... Is this like a 130 point? I'm not even sure if this would fit in a 130 point top loader. That is very chunky. It needs like a 150 point top loader. That's that's nutty. So you'd think maybe there's some serious weight to that card. There's a comical amount of weight for uh, just a relic like that. But we did hit another relic. Not too bad. And we got a couple of packs left. 2020 Tops Chrome done a bunch of this on the channel we know what we're looking for we know what we're playing for it's that same great rookie class from series one uh, plus robert and let's see what we can find looks like we have a refractor in here sheldon noisy chris paddock Whit merrifield so not too much going on there in our final pack 2012 gypsy queen looking for that second year trout and a lot of good stuff in this pack so hopefully Hopefully we can find something. I see Lou Gehrig on the back. Paul Goldschmidt. I believe that would be a second year Goldschmidt. Sean Markham. Tory Hunter. So Angels, but not the Angel. Pedro Alvarez. This is Matt Dominguez, who I was really, really high on. Yeah, Matt Dominguez. I was really high on him. Uh, career didn't quite pan out. Johnny Bench. We have a mini. Mini is going to be Paul Molitor. It's going to be a gypsy, or a, a, yep, a gypsy queen back. I don't know if they're all like that, but we did hit a mini. Cecil Fielder, Joey Votto, and Lou Gehrig. Overall, very fun box. No major hits, but some pretty decent stuff. Paul Goldschmidt, second year, I believe. Harrison Bader. Austin Riley, Relic. We did hit a Senzel. An AJ Pollock, Purple Hot Box. Mount Castle and Puck on uh, Bowman Chromes, as well as a Brandon Lowe rookie card. Nice Mike Trout from 84 and a Yordan uh, home run challenge. Overall, very satisfied. This is a product that I'm, or a, a box that I'm going to keep bringing on the channel uh, month by month. Um, because like I said, I think that Phil puts together a really, really good rookie card box. And it's just a really fun chase. And I'm just really, really impressed. Um, you know, a lot of good stuff in there. The packaging is good. Came in a few days after I ordered it. And um, I like that there's this whole big typed out list of everything you can potentially hit in there. So you can tell like a lot of work and a lot of thought has been done and considered when creating this box. Anyways, that's going to do it. We'll come back around next month for volume 22 and uh, keep going from there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we will catch you next time on down the road.